What is a worldview? If you want to defend the Christian faith to anyone, whether a Muslim or an atheist, you need to understand that person's worldview. A worldview is a collection of the truth claims that explain the world into a reality. It helps people make sense of the world. It's, it's like a map they use to navigate through life. Their worldview will tell them what is real and how to live. And it will answer basic questions. It's for example, Christianity teaches that God exists and that the faith in Jesus saves people from their sins and still it is wrong. <laughs> a worldview is a collection of claims that explain reality. Technically, religious and philosophies have formal worldviews and people adapt personal worldviews like Christianity and secular humanism, both dominant in the United States, having formal worldviews that explain reality and behavior and answer many questions that people have. But however, personal worldviews apply the broader view to a person's life. A personal worldview actually uses a formal worldview in an individual's life to make decisions. If a formal worldview is the map to navigate life, then a personal worldview involves actually using the map to go somewhere. Interesting. People's formal and personal worldviews seldomly match. In other words, people rarely use the map they own. They just leave it in the glove compartment. To illustrate this idea, consider what Christianity says regarding Satan. Satan. The formal Christian worldview clearly states that there is a natural and supernatural reality and an entity called the devil. However, Georgia Barna, in the book called The Third Millennium Teens, showed that 65% of Christian youth don't personally believe that there is a devil. Two-thirds of Christian teenagers reject this doctrinal aspect of the formal worldview and personally don't subscribe to it. Their personal and formal worldview don't line up, and the inconsistency is obvious. But it's not just Christians who are inconsistent or hypocritical, most people fail to employ their formal worldview in their personal one. Whether they are religious or not, for example, according to the 2007 Pew formula of religion, 21% of atheists say that they believe in God or a universal spirit. Formal and personal worldviews seldom align leading to hypocrisy and inconsistency. Worldview components. If a worldview is collective of the truth claims, they explain the world and reality. Where are these specific claims? First of all, worldviews begin with religious assumptions, even if they claim not to. If we do not grasp this fact, we miss a key witnessing opportunity when people share their worldview. Start somewhere. The worldview map needs a beginning point, so uh, assumptions can be made. For example, atheism states that there is no God. In contrast, Christianity states that God exists. Theism and he reveals himself through his creation and his word. Both start with presuppositions. There either is, is or isn't a God. A question to ask both would be, how do you know there is or isn't a God? A Christian can reply, there is a God since an orderly world exists and moral and order exist in this world in other words who other than God make everything work in precise order as well as making the de it 
making humans with a sense of right and wrong. We'll explore this definition a little bit later. On the other hand, when the atheist declares there is no God, how can he make such an absolute statement? Does he know everything? And how, how has he traveled through the whole world to, and the whole universe to see beyond a shadow of a doubt that there is no God? How powerful is this starting point? Our presuppositions to the worldview map, some such as the Kansas State professor, Dr. Scott Todd, won't acknowledge an intellectual designer because God doesn't fit in their worldview. In other words, don't confuse me with the fact that my mind is made up. There is no God. All worldviews have to start somewhere. What makes this point significant that this assumption can carry you down very different paths of explaining life and how we should behave as we unfold each worldview map. Second of all, worldviews have beliefs about reality and the source of everything. Another term for this is philosophy. Dr. Todd at Kansas State mentioned naturalism, the belief that reality is only comprised of matter and natural things, with no supernatural realm, everything that exists is just what we see in the world of nature. There are no spiritual forces or supernatural areas as well. If this world of matter is all there is, from where did it come? In his book and video series called Cosmos, Carl Saget basically says the cosmos is the only thing that will ever exist. Do you see the assumption resulting in explaining for reality? All that has ever existed in the past exists now and will exist is matter and it assembles itself in clockwork precision. We'll, we'll discuss this concept in a later where we address creation and evolution. However, understanding this no God philosophy will have a tremendous impact on one's ethics and beliefs and how they believe. So let's pray. Father God, we believe in you even though the people that we're reading about don't believe in you, we believe in you. We trust you to guide us through our paths, to keep us safe and keep us away from the evil one and keep his evil foe away from us. We love you in Jesus' holy name. Amen. I praise you, I praise you, Father God, yeah, yeah, I praise you, I praise you, I praise you, Father God, yeah, yeah, I praise you, I praise you, I praise you, Father God, yeah, yeah, I praise you, I praise you, I praise you, Father God, yeah, yeah, I praise you. Jesus came to the earth legally, died on the cross, rose in three days, just for me, will not just for me, did it for everybody, only thing our Father is asking for you to believe, I believe, yes, 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 I do, and I praise you, I praise you, I praise you, I praise you, Father God, yeah, yeah, I praise you, yeah, to every day.